beginning to feel like more people know Nam Shin Iii's secret than not, but there are still very dangerous reasons to keep his very existence a secret. Unfortunately, there's danger from multiple directions, yet somehow Nam Shin 3 doesn't let it interfere with his growing relationship with So Bong. There's only one person who could do that, and Nam Shin 3 will have to rise to the occasion when his true enemy finally shows their face. Episode 23 recap While Yenna was crying over Shin's bedside, he'd woken up and shushed her before she could call out to anyone. She the only one who knew he'd been faking his coma for some time, and when they were alone, they'd planned to lure Jong Gil here by having Yenna turn on her phone. When Jong Gil showed up at Ro Ra's hideout, Yenna told him that what he wanted was at the office, a robot that looks just like Shin. Should given him the body of Nam Shin I, not at all sorry to be tricking her father this way. David stopped Nam Shin 3 before the presentation, but he'd changed his mind and said he'd see him at home. Yenna called Nam Shin 3 and told him that her father found her and was on his way to the hideout. She'd asked to him to come help her move Shin, and he'd gone, not suspecting a thing. Yenna drove Shin to the office and helped him inside, where he and Jong Gil had their showdown. So it was Shin who smashed the glass and bled to prove he's human, then sneered at So Bong for confessing. The first thing she thinks of is Nam Shin Iii's kill switch, and she runs out in a panic. Shin says coolly that they'll have to postpone the presentation because of his hand. He turns to leave, but before he gets out of the room, he passes out cold. So Bong calls Nam Shin 3, who's at the hideout, and he tells her that Shin is gone. She screams at him to get out of there and meet her where they rode bikes, and not to talk to anyone. David reports to Chairman Nam that he can't convince Ro Ra to give up on the kill switch. Chairman Nam is more concerned about what just happened in the presentation room, but it's the first David has heard that Shin is awake. He calls Nam Shin 3, who doesn't answer his phone, so David goes after him. When So Bong sees Nam Shin 3, she visibly relaxes and says in a wobbly voice that she thought he disappeared. He says that he waited for her to come to him, without checking her GPS or calling, and she grabs him in a hug. She tells him over and over not to go anywhere, and he's confused, but he returns her hug. Shin is back in bed and unconscious while Ro Ra yells at Yenna for not telling anyone that Shin was awake. The doctor says that he's far from recovered, and that he may slip in and out of consciousness. Ro Ra just barely manages not to kick Yenna out, but Young Hoon stops them from berating her and says that what's important is that Shin woke up. So Bong leads Nam Shin 3 by the wrist, with no plan beyond, get far away. He asks brightly if the human Shin is like he portrayed him, and So Bong snaps, he's nothing like you. Nam Shin 3 wants to meet him, but So Bong forcefully forbids it, startling them both. Young Hoon calls Nam Shin 3, but So Bong answers without saying anything. Young Hoon tells Nam Shin 3, he thinks, to go to the hospital and pretend to be Shin recuperating. So Bong says that won't be happening because she can't trust them not to do something to Nam Shin 3, but Young Hoon asks her to go to the hospital now and they'll discuss things later. In the background, Ro Ra barks that there's nothing to discuss. She grabs the phone and demands So Bong let her speak to Nam Shin 3, but David grabs the phone from her to promise So Bong that nothing will happen to Nam Shin 3, and that he needs to speak with her. When he hangs up, Ro Ra objects, but David demands she tell him where she hid the kill switch. She says she's already decided to be a bad mother, and that regardless of how special Nam Shin 3 is to him, she has no choice. David yells that this is about her, and asks if she really won't care when Nam Shin 3 is gone after all the years she spent with him. He says that even if Nam Shin 3 is a robot, he cared for Ro Ra, and getting rid of him won't mean he never existed. He tells Ro Ra that if Nam Shin 3 made her think of her son when she looked at him, then looking at Shin will remind her of Nam Shin 3 the same way, and he storms out disgusted. At the hospital, Nam Shin 3 plays his memory of So Bong hugging him on the television when she asks what he's staring into space for. She blocks the TV and tells him to turn it off, embarrassed. Nam Shin 3 asks if she cried this time because she was happy that her friend didn't disappear, but So Bong says he's not her friend anymore. Nam Shin 3 thinks she's saying she doesn't like him anymore, or... But So Bong clarifies, it's because I like you, not as a friend, but as a human man. Nam Shin 3 points out that he's not a human man, but So Bong says she likes him more than she likes any human man, and offers him her hand if he thinks she's lying. 
He checks, and asks if she's talking about the chemical reaction called love. She nods, and he gets all interested in whether she's releasing dopamine, or oxytocin, or endorphins. So Bong tells him she doesn't know, she only knows she wants to be with him, and they agree that emotions are hard. Nam Shin 3 hugs So Bong, who hugs him back and asks if he feels anything, and he whispers, not yet. I'm sorry. She says it's okay, that she doesn't like him because she expects something in return. She gives Nam Shin 3 her locket, saying that her mother told her to give it to someone she wants to give her heart to. Nam Shin 3 touches the locket and smiles. They're joined by David, who asks So Bong to speak alone. He tells her that Ro Ra won't use the kill switch for now, since Shin still isn't well enough to resume his life. He says that Nam Shin 3 can't run away because it can be activated remotely, and they can't just break it because that would automatically activate it. The only thing to do is turn Nam Shin 3 off so it won't work if it's activated, but that makes him essentially a walking corpse. So Bong gets an idea, saying cryptically, to gain a life, I have to risk a life. When Shin wakes again, he ignores Yenna to look at Ro Ra for the first time. Young Hoon pulls Yenna from the room to give them privacy, but when Ro Ra reaches to touch Shin's face, he turns away from her coldly. He asks if she really considered that thing, her son, and she explains that she made Nam Shin 3 thinking of him, and brought to him here to help Shin. He asks to see Young Hoon, who seems hugely relieved to see Shin awake and asks why he didn't tell anyone when he first woke up. Shin doesn't answer, he only says that he wants to know what happened while he was unconscious. He tells Young Hoon to bring Nam Shin 3 to him tomorrow, curious about his clone. Young Hoon says there's no need since Nam Shin 3 will be sent away once he's better. He adds that Shin will feel weird, but Shin retorts that it's more likely Young Hoon who will feel weird. Nam Shin 3 is gone when Young Hoon arrives at the hospital to get him. Ro Ra immediately assumes that So Bong took Nam Shin 3 to the media to expose them, only for So Bong to arrive just then. She'd asked Nam Shin 3 to trust her and not ask questions, then removed his battery. Should hugged him as he'd powered down, then left him in David's care. She brings Ro Ra all of his extra watch batteries, and tells her that she's deactivated him and hid him somewhere safe. Ro Ra has the nerve to say that this is insulting to Nam Shin 3, but So Bong says it's more insulting to activate his kill switch and destroy him. She asks why Ro Ra is so upset when she just made things easier for her. She says she's here to negotiate, and demands that Ro Ra hand over Nam Shin II's kill switch. Ro Ra refuses, telling her to just keep Nam Shin 3 powered off forever. She knows So Bong can't do that because she cares for him, so So Bong snaps, then, just activate it. But you'll become a murderer. Because you'll kill me, too. She says she'll stay by Nam Shin 3 as long as he's powered on, so when he explodes, she'll die with him. Ro Ra calls So Bong reckless, but she says that Nam Shin 3 is the reckless one because he saved her life, scolded anyone who disrespected her, and stayed up with her when she was injured. She says they promised to protect each other, and although she's not as smart as strong as Nam Shin 3, she'll do what it takes to keep the promise. She says sadly that this was her last resort, but it didn't work, and she starts collecting all of Nam Shin I